It can be any number of things, but what it's really about is following me as I follow Christ, bringing people along in your journey and investing in them as they create their own lifestyles of discipleship and, and try to follow Christ. Step number five is making other disciples. This sounds straight up like evangelism, and it kind of is, but at the same time, it's a whole lot more than that. You can think, oh, well, I've got to go, if I'm supposed to make other disciples, I've got to go knocking on doors, I've got to tell them the good news and preach the gospel to them and get them saved and then get them in church. And making other disciples is more than, than that. It's really about taking your life as you follow Christ, as you are creating a lifestyle of discipleship, going to the people around you and saying, join me in this journey. It's what Paul was saying in 1 Corinthians 11 when he said, follow me as I follow Christ. It's about bringing people along and introducing them to your Savior. That can be evangelism. That can be those initial encounters with Jesus that people have that um, we get the pleasure and the privilege of being the ones to, to introduce them to Jesus for the first time. It could also be, though, you as a 10-year-old, 20-year-old Christian sitting down with somebody who's been a Christian for 5 or 10 years and being the person to walk with them through this lifestyle of discipleship. It can be any number of things, but what it's really about is following me as I follow Christ, bringing people along in your journey and investing in them as they create their own lifestyles of discipleship and, and try to follow Christ. And that's really intimidating for a lot of us. Uh, I think some of the primary objections to that that I've heard are, well, I'm just me. I don't have anything of value for anybody else. or um, if I'm going to invest in somebody else, I have to be an expert. Neither one of those are true. It's really about joining the journey. And as you kind of step into that role of walking with someone else and saying, hey, follow me as I follow Christ, uh, you start to realize yeah, they, could, they can see when you mess up too. Um, and so if you're worried about having to have all the expert answers and things like that, don't be worried about that. They're going to see that you don't regardless. Uh, now that in and of itself can be intimidating, but at the same time, there's grace for that. And if you're securing your identity as a child of God, uh, that starts to become less of a struggle. Doesn't mean that it's never a struggle, but it can start to become less of a struggle. And so I would encourage you, if you're not actively trying to make other disciples, look for the people around you. Don't like go pounce on them or something like that. But look for the people around you who are uh, naturally who naturally gravitate toward listening uh, when you talk, uh, who are looking to trust you as somebody who can speak into their lives. Usually, that's somebody younger than you. Doesn't always. It's not always the case, though. Somebody older than you can can be discipled by you as well. But look for those people who are willing to join you in your journey and invest in their lives. And honestly, that's part of why I'm doing daily growth discipleship. I've got a few relationships with people right now where I'm walking with them and uh, we're trying to, to walk together and, and I'm trying to make them disciples. But part of my creation and calling is to uh, make disciples in this way. And so daily growth discipleship is an outflow of that for me. And that doesn't have to be that way for you, but if you, if you want to do something like that, great. Uh, if not, it can be as simple as saying, hey, why don't you come have a cup of coffee with me once a week and we'll just, we'll talk about life and how we can better follow Jesus. And uh, you can make disciples that way. If you feel called to go knock on doors, go knock on doors. That's great too. And uh, have these great evangelistic encounters with people who've never heard the gospel or uh, maybe they have, and God's going to use you to change the way that they're, they're seeing life right now. Who knows? Uh, the point is, follow the leading of the Spirit and allow God to, to use you and pull people along on your journey as you're trying to follow Christ and create a lifestyle of discipleship.